Next speaker is Tamara Tinkham. I'm going to yield my time to Rachel Berger. Okay. Next speaker is Rachel Berger. <laughs> Well, he was right. It's kind of intimidating, uh, even though I've served the Hugo Get Park. Your address, sorry. Oh, sorry about that. One four three one eight Cosette Way, Hugo, Minnesota. Um, and while I've served our city's commission for a number of years, and always told people not to be nervous standing in this position, here I stand before you, feeling rather intimidated. Um, bear with me. I'm really excited to be here today um, and to learn about the collaboration your school district has made with um, parents and advocates in the community and the steps that you guys are taking towards implementing programs and a plan that will help all of the members of your um, schools achieve grade level literacy and an equitable education. Um, Looking at, um, and also that, I'm sorry, you're looking at a curriculum that appears to have a lot of great qualities about it. Um, however, I think that it, it looks like uh, when you factor in the populations, it's probably really solid in helping two-thirds of the population that will not struggle as deeply as those with dyslexia, and it it um, maybe leaves a third of that population still needing a little bit more support, which you're addressing with your uh, reading curriculum tiers. Um, and I love that your students don't have to have a diagnosis to access those supports. That really um, speaks highly. They can access that whether they're identified or not identified. Um, however, uh, it looks to me that um, one of the areas that speaks to me is in the tier two um, support. And if a child is struggling with tier one support in the classroom and not making gains in literacy as they should, um, and that's again despite effective classroom instruction and despite the effort that children are putting forth and the effort that teachers are putting forth, I see no need to um, not go directly to a systematic, explicit approach that'll help them further gain their skills and knowledge. I know you guys um, refer to the Tier 2 as an additional scoop. That's common language. Um, and I mean no offense when, when I use this, but I tend to think of scoops like ice cream. And um, that can be fun, but at the same rate, I look at uh, the scoops with education as if we're going to use another scoop of the same what's already been used in the classroom that might already might not be working effectively for a student, it may not get us where we want. And and when we don't go directly to systematic, explicit intervention for a student who might have very specific needs, we're losing time and their ability to make those grade level gains um, as adequately as they can. What I'd like to recommend is that um, you have the ability to consult with some of the experts in the community and look a little bit deeper at creating a solid plan for the students that might not achieve literacy, grade level reading proficiency um, and might have either characteristics of dyslexia or be diagnosed with dyslexia before you continue to move forward on the program that you have that will work for the other population. Thank, Thank you very you. much.